So when picking rocks for a stream, at a rock like this, and you just say, oh yeah. You can see from yesterday just how much we got done. Bridge all framed out, ready to go. Those are sitting on those concrete pilings. Jack, huh. how do you feel about our progress at the end of day three? Our pickle's good for your hydration. Uh-huh, yeah, you well. should eat 17 of them. <laughs> a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. way to start a new day. New load of rocks. There's some big, big boulders on there. Perfect for this children's play area over here. We're going to be setting those big flat ones in as outcroppings all over the place. I'm just so excited that today there's a little bit of sun. You can see it partially cloudy, but it's not raining. Yesterday it was raining. I spent forever on a seam only being able to get about eight inches done at a time. So it just took forever. But today we've got one more seam. A little bit more stream and then we'll be right into the wetland so big day today yesterday we got all of this carved out in through here I've got to seam this liner to this liner because there's just not enough of an overlap that's only about a four inch overlap and with pushing that much water through there it's just not gonna look good while I do this seam the guys are gonna come start finishing this we're gonna kind of lay out our bridge we didn't finish it yesterday because we wanted to see exactly where the bridge was gonna sit so we could bring our rock right up to the edge of it so we can get all of this done get this done today and then hopefully start excavating the wetland tomorrow we get done into the wetland let's go check out some get a closer look at some of these great boulders Picking rocks for a stream with just a little bit of a grade change, way more of a meandering type stream. I really am more drawn to rocks like this that have the higher area with the slow tapered section where we can make it look like the water's actually eroded parts of that away. Then you look at a rock like this and you just say, oh yeah. <laughs> I love these. I'm not hugely excited about these, but some of these small guys are just necessary for filler. I do love that one a lot. I can see that being used for the waterfall coming out of the biofall or out of the wetland filter. It's just got a nice flat top to it, great texture, lots of moss, looks incredible. And then the rocks that we want to encourage the kids to walk all around are these big, big flat ones, big tabletop type rocks. The rocks that just say, hey, I need you to step on me. <laughs> There's another one over here. And then of course, a bunch of them coming off that truck over there. Each one we will find a home for, all special in their own way. <laughs> Things are definitely moving today. We have a couple more hands. We got Derek down here cutting some concrete cloth. The nice thing about this concrete cloth is it's gonna go right over the top of our liner. It's just gonna protect our liner from any accidents that could happen. You know, kids are gonna be kids and we don't want them coming in and puncturing that liner anywhere. So Derek's down here cutting that liner to fit in just around all the boulders. We'll come back and wet it and tomorrow that stuff will be concrete hard. You can see James and Eric are working on the bridge. So they're getting the bridge all framed out. Jack is now able to set a couple boulders exactly where they need to go because we want those big boulders to come right up to the edge of the bridge, not leaving big one foot gaps or worse, put the rock in the wrong place and the bridge wouldn't fit. So now we can come in and create this pool. I finished yet another epic seam, just unbelievable. So we got a nice 30 foot seam on right here. This will allow us to finish up this waterfall, backfill and everything else. While I was doing that, Alan, Ralph and them came over here and they started framing out the water waterfall that's going to come out of the wetland filter. A really cool waterfall and again this weathered limestone just makes it so much fun, so easy to work with. You get the natural low spots, the natural high spots, high, low, high, so water there, water there, maybe even sneak in a little 
little something from over in here. And then just past that will be our wetland filter. This is all before most people even wake up in the morning. <laughs> Everybody, end of day three. And I have to tell you, I am pretty impressed with what we've gotten done in three days. We have a 3,000 gallon reservoir put in. We have a custom pump vault put in. We have all of our trenching done and the plumbing ran. We have a one inch, no, we have a half inch, no, we have a three, <laughs> we have a three quarter inch automatic fill valve run. Waterfalls are built, bridges are set, so on and so on. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Jack, huh. how do you feel about our progress at the end of day three? Our pickle's good for your hydration. Uh-huh. Yeah, you well. should eat 17 of them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alan, how do you feel about, about our progress at the end of day three? I got to tell you, I think we really knocked it out of the park today. I mean, we've been doing really well, but today it seems like, you know, edges are buttoned up. We've got a lot of the rock set. We've got a flat spot ready for our wetland. So tomorrow morning we start digging that and just look at all this. I mean, it now, looking it's awesome. Unbelievable how much we got done today. Uh, you got two machines, a little bit of sunshine, no snow, no rain. You rocked out that seam this morning. Right? It's pretty warm, my yeah. Seam, my seam didn't take four and a half hours. Seaming across the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> so we got this pump vault all finished up. This is going to get a custom grate right over the top of it with a little hatch and a lock. Make sure nobody gets in there, messes with pumps, takes pumps, that kind of stuff. Three three-inch pipes running all the way up to the top. You can see from yesterday just how much we got done. Bridge all framed out, ready to go. Those are sitting on those concrete pilings. Gets a few more supports in there, and then the decking can go on. We started adding some big rock just to try to scale that bridge down, making sure it didn't become such the focal point that it wants to be <laughs> came up over here you can see buttoned up this whole waterfall earlier this morning you guys saw me seaming that liner back and through here so we got that seamed which allowed that liner to go out and then get all of this done and what's so nice is with a site like this where we have access over here we have access over here machines can be setting on this side and on this side multitasking getting all kinds of stuff done Jack Ralph and Alan came over here, worked this morning while I was doing that seam. They built an unbelievable waterfall. And I want to show you all the details of it, but I think this is the perfect time to say, we'll show you next episode where we finish that waterfall, finish the wetland filter back over in there, get this thing running, and show you guys exactly how we finish up everything out here. So you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, tell all your friends, and we'll keep doing this. Bye. Hey. You know what else? 
Why don't you tell me what your favorite part is? Huh? Yeah, do that. <laughs>